The Brawl Pass is the most valuable thing you can get in Brawl Stars, and with them comes a brand new season. Each one can be valued differently based on the Chromatic Brawler, the Tier 1 and 70 skins, the theme, and the environment. Starting with Season 1, which was very hype, but unfortunately, the Brawl Pass didn't give us too much at all. We got no Tier 1 skin, instead we got a Mega Box. And at Tier 30, we got Gale. Now, we're going to judge these based on their release, so it's safe to say he was pretty bad. On the contrary, his Tier 60 skin was pretty awesome, and hey, wait a second, Tier 60? Yeah, along with no tier 1 skin, there were 15% less rewards to get, not including all of this blank space up here. This season's theme was Tara's Bazaar, which was awesome. I love the Sandy theme, so this is a top tier theme. Overall, this season was a 4 out of 10. We gotta give it some credit, it was the first one. Season 2 was the Summer of Monsters, somehow even more hype than the first one. At tier 1, we got Power Ranger Brock. I don't like it. At tier 30, we got Surge. He himself wasn't the strongest, but his splitting star power gave him insane control control, making him overpowered. His tier 70 skin is kinda cool, but I would never really go out of my way to get this, you know? And the Summer of Monsters theme was really kinda neat. The only problem though, we got Super oh City God. Rampage with this update. Oh. 8 out of 10. Season 3, Star Park Baby. Tier 1 was Poco with a new hat. It's fine, that's all. Tier 30, we had Colette. She was incredibly weak. She couldn't even kill a porter. <laughs> that's how bad it was. And little me did not care in the slightest. I thought her mechanics were so cool along with her tier 70 skin, which is in my opinion one of the best skins in the game. It gives me Helltaker vibes. The Star Park environment itself is fine and it looks really nice overall. 7 out of 10. Season 4. <laughs> this season bro, oh my god. Tier 1 skin, Bellhop Mike was trash. Lou, he was alright. But his skin, aw, uh, heck no. And the theme man, Holiday Getaway, it was so boring. This season, one of the worst, 3 out of 10. Season 5 made a complete 180 and gave us an incredible Daryl skin at tier 1. I love the effects on this guy. We got Colonel Ruffs at tier 30, who all around proves to be a really good support brawler, and Ronan Ruffs is a chef's kiss. The theme of this season was Star Force. It was all spacey and stuff, and the environment itself was super purpley and white, and it all worked super well together. 8.5 out of 10. Season 6 gave us yet another cult skin at tier 1, but arguably one of the better ones. Tier 30 gave us Bell, an all around a good brawler with a decent skin at tier 70. It's whatever. The theme was Gold Arm Gang, which is one of my favorite soon to be trios, and the environment, oh, that is is good. 7 out of 10. Season 7 had one of the best value skins in the game, Surfer Carl, along with Buzz, who was and will always be really freaking strong. Buzz's tier 70 skin was in line with the boring bad theme at the time and wasn't too bad. The Jurassic Marsh theme was really well made and the environment is just so unique. I love it. 8 out of 10. Once upon a time during season 8, little Moyo really wanted this brawl pass, but spent all of his gems on the last one, meaning he'll miss out on Princess Shelly and a pretty decent brawler at. Poor little Moyo didn't get Ninja Ash, the mid-tier skin at tier 70. Worst of all, the environment was lame. Little Moyo lived on his life sad and lonely, but the Once Upon a Brawl theme was cool. Huh? 7 out of 10. Lights, Camera, Season 9. Tier 1 featured a god-awful skin. It's just bull, but with robot limbs. How tragic. Lola was tier 30, and she was OP, the first of many broken on release. Once you painstakingly reach the top tier 70, you unlock Rebel Lola. It's whatever. The theme of the season was Brawlywood, and the environment reminds me a lot of Season 2 for some reason. 6 out of 10. Season 10. We got another amazing Rosa skin for tier 1 and Fang at tier 30. Who would have guessed he was really, really strong? At the end of the pass, we got Fang with cooler looking clothes on, nice. Along with all of this then was the Year of the Tiger theme, and bro, this theme was incredible. All of the nerds went crazy, me included. The environment then was so cool, it's all voxely and cool, I love it. 9 out of 10, that's pretty good. We're now in season 11, baby, and the biodome is cool, I guess. We got an incredible Rico skin at tier 1, another broken brawler, Eve, and the Worst, and I say the worst tier 70 skin ever. It looks just like our base model, just slightly different. The biosphere nature -y theme is cool, and the environment was neat. 6.5 out of 10. Blasting into season 12, Biker Carl was a neat tier 1 skin, though we really didn't need another Carl skin. Janet was not only an okay brawler at release, but some people really liked her. And then the Valkyrie Janet skin is really cool. The stunt show theme was cool enough, I like the idea, but with most themes, nothing is really built off of it, you know? The environment fits though. 
it's kind of underwhelming. 7 out of 10. Season 13. Did that sound like I was underwater? I'm going to say this is the most forgettable season we've ever had. Sharktooth Colt was a fine tier 1 skin, and Otis was pretty underwhelming when released. Pretty boring. The skin, though, was really cool. The theme being deep sea brawl and having everything underwater was neat, but I think the environment was kind of boring, and Colt and Otis didn't have a rap battle. I was very disappointed. 5 out of 10. Season 14 had a bomb tier 1 skin for Poco, and Sam was pretty strong. Not insanely OP, but really strong. Caesar Sa Sa Sam was a nice skin too, and the Robot Factory theme just did not make sense when looking at the skin and the brawler released. But hey, the environment was decent. 7 out of 10. All aboard Season 15, Trash Panda Penny is one of my favorite skins out there, and for a tier 1, she's good. Buster was added, and he was busted. I <laughs> see what I did there. At tier 70, he got a really lame skin. <laughs> Bro turned into Chainsaw Man. And uh, the theme and environment were pretty boring. Huh? 6.9 out of 10. Season 16, we got a really fun and unique Nita skin since she changes colors every time she dies. That's so cool. And Mandy was added, being another boring sniper brawler like Bell, B, Piper, you know. And I love the Candy Lamb theme. It's cute and the environment is fun. And especially do I like the music. Oh, 10 out of 10 for the music. Finally, Season 17, Mysteries at the Hub. The Tier 1 skin is Butler Robot Primo or whatever. Pretty cool model. RT is the Tier 30 brawler and he's not released yet at the time of this recording, but oh man, I think he will be really strong. This tier 70 skin reminds me of the Summoner's Greed dude, and the theme and environment are pretty lackluster. And I'd say 6.5 out of 10. And that's all of them. Subscribe, please.